What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Alright, today we're gonna dive into some glitter, some liquid lips, and I guess they're gonna be combined and some crazy magical shit is supposed to go down. Now, I have been in Michigan for a few days, so girl, she's back and I'm ready to roll. Today we're going to dive into something that I've seen all over the internet, and it is the Ciate London Glitter Flip Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I had to try these for myself because they kind of went viral on Instagram, everyone was talking about it, and they're like, Jeffrey, try it out, let's see if they're Jeffree Star approved. So when I got these in the mail, I was like, okay, I'm gonna save them. I'm not even gonna try them A lot of the times I get so giddy and excited I will try things before filming with them um, And then I'll be like, okay, I already tried it not filming with so these I was like, okay We're gonna put them aside and here we are so today we're going to dive into them I actually have all the colors here, but I feel like if most of them work do we need to try all the damn shades? I know at home you guys are like yeah. My mouth is saying no. So we will do five out of these seven, but I do have them all here. And I guess basically, if you want to see me try these out, then keep on watching. All right, so they all, of course, come in these unit cartons, and there is, of course, I just said it's seven shades, and they all retail for $19 a piece. I think that's pretty fair for this type of brand. Now, on the side of the box, it says that this is a transforming glitter liquid lipstick. Now, I don't really think this has ever been done before as far as this type of formula, so you know I love when a brand makes something that is not out yet. So this says, glitter lips made easy with Ciate's Glitter Flip. Simply press lips together and watch as metallic matte liquid lipstick magically transforms into a dazzling, multi-dimension glitter lip with none of the mess and a fraction of the time of a traditional glitter lip look. Now, of course, we all know, when you want to do a glitter lipstick, you put down a normal base, you take glitter in a pot, you take it and you press it on your mouth. Now, over time, does that look good? No, because after 10 minutes, it's all over your face. It's just just a mess and it doesn't really last throughout the day. If you go to eat with that, goodbye. This actually sounds pretty cool. It literally says apply, dry, press, and pop. So it sounds pretty easy to do. This product says that it has 0.101 fluid ounces. Okay. And let's open it up and see what's inside. All right. Woo. Oh, okay. So the top of it is glitter. This reminds me of the Mac Mariah Carey collection. Anyone else got that last year? Very similar, but the packaging is cute. We got the stars on there. We have the logo, of course. And the shade is called Candy. Okay, so I think, um, do I want to try the pink first? I kind of want to try this crazy purple just because I have purple eyeshadow on today. So I'm just going to unbox them all and let's see if they work. So I was just reading on the website and I just want to let everyone know that this product is vegan, it's cruelty free, it's formulated without gluten, and this is supposed to be a stay put formula with non-drying and total comfortable wear. It will last all night with no need for retouching. Well, if you're me, you're gonna need some retouching because bitch, we're always on our knees. So this color is called Fortune and let's see if they smell like anything crazy. Here is what the applicator looks like. It is kind of flat, has a little bit of an arch right there, and then let's see what they smell like. Hmm. Not really anything, which is shocking because usually when there's glitter in something, it kind of smells a little weird or a little intense, but hmm, nothing. All right, so let's go in and see what this is all about. Oh, okay, coverage. All right, so I dipped in once and I got my entire bottom lip. So let's finish her off. All right, here is the lipstick fully swatched. I must say I'm a little surprised at how pigmented and full coverage that went on. Like this looks so pretty by itself. Of course, I have not pressed my lips together whatsoever yet. And you do see that there is already shimmer and a little bit of a metallic hue over the lip. Obviously, it's very prominent right there. And I really like this color already. Now, of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's zoom in and press our lips together and see what the fuck is about to happen. So here we go. One, two. Whoa. Okay, that definitely activated a lot of glitter. Let's do it a few more times. Ooh, it's almost like a disco ball. Kind of like got like blown on my mouth. Wow, I'm like, hmm, 
Any of my teeth? No. Okay, you guys, so this definitely worked. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I love this color here. So I'm like, okay, if you take your finger, what happens if you rub it? I'm just curious. Well, nothing really comes off. A little bit, obviously, it may not be fully, fully dry yet, but um, wow, this is really pretty. I'm like, whoo! I think that these are really light, which is nice. I was afraid that they would be like too thick, but the lips don't feel like that they're crunchy or that there's anything really on them. Again, when you close your eyes and you're like, mm, it doesn't really feel like there's that much there, which is nice. The glitter doesn't feel chunky. It's definitely sparkly. I'm gonna take my flash on my iPhone real quickly here, and let's put it on my mouth and see. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Mm. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I might be obsessed with these. Let's try another one. The next shade is called Candy, and it is this soft rosy pink. I thought, let's try a lighter shade and see if the glitter still activates as strongly, and then we'll move on. So let's give this color a whirl. All right, let's see if Candy has the same metallic glitter moment. It looks very, very matte, and there's not really that much of a metallic sheen compared to the first one we just did, but let's see right now. Whoa. That is really pretty. I'm like, oh, okay. I've never really seen a formula like this, so I am definitely impressed, and that looks really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this one is really cool because the color is subtle, but the glitter is stunning. Now I've been dying to try this crazy mermaid teal color. It is called Siren, and close up, it has like teal glitter on top of the teal, so I think this is gonna look pretty cute. Let's see if the teal one works. Whoa, holy shit. <gasps> All right, let's see if Siren has the same glitter effect, which I think by now we know because look how beautiful and metallic that looks without pressing together. Already I'm like, who lord? All right, here we go. Ooh. This one packs a punch and it definitely has a lot of glitter in it, which I love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that, bitch. Whew, okay, this color is really cool. I know it's a little edgy, it's a little out there, so if you're someone that is a little afraid of crazy colors, I think, of course, that last one, candy, would definitely be good for you, but this one, Lord Jesus, I love it. All right, the green stain my mouth a little bit. Looks like I've been sucking off a dragon on Game of Thrones. But back to the swatching. This one, it looks to be like a crazy red with like pink glitter. It's called Hollywood. And let's see what she looks like. All right, now this color by itself, before we even glitter flip it, is so pretty. I love the undertone and that pink, like, metallic hue. You already see the glitter wants to come forward right in the front. It's like, let me out. So let's let this dry for a second and give her a spin. All right, now let's give Hollywood a flip and see how pretty it looks. Ooh, that silver that just came out with the pink is spectacular. This might be my favorite. Maybe it's because my makeup, I'm not sure. But I'm looking in the monitor and I'm like, what the hell? This one is stunning. Obviously by now, I think we know the formula works. The glitter looks so pretty. They all have, of course, different hues of glitter, different tones. I'm definitely really loving this formula. So we could stop here, but then I, I saw this one called Iconic. And it is a more, almost like a black version of this purple one that we first swatched. And it has crazy amounts of glitter in it. So I do want to keep this on, but I will swatch this one as well. But damn, damn, damn this one's hot. Last but not least, we are going to try Iconic. My mouth is getting a little raw. All the glitter and the formula, it does last. So when I'm removing it in between takes, you guys, it's a mess. But we got one more to go. So let's see how this color looks. Holy shit. All right, let's give this one a flip, and here we go. Whoa. I'm like, are we serving some mermaid realness or what? The blue, green, and pink glitter undertones. I'm like, holy shit. Mm. 
I don't know which one's my favorite. I'm sitting here looking at the, all the colors and I'm like, oh my God. Like, look at the way this glitter moves. I'm like, ah. it's so satisfying, damn it. All right, you guys, I think this one may be my second runner up, but I think the red stole the show for me. I thought the purple was like fucking bomb as well. And the teal, of course, but this red one was my favorite. I think the glitter just looked spectacular and I can't wait to wear it again. Now this finale though, I'm like, mm. Looks like a fireworks on my mouth, and I'm loving every second of it. All right, you guys, I think it is time to give my final thoughts. Now, I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into when I um, first saw these, but I am pleasantly surprised that Siate London slayed, killed, deceased, murdered this formula. I really love it, and um, if you guys have a chance to pick up a few colors, I highly recommend the red and pink, but if you're a little more on the daring side, Wear this, wear it to a wedding, wear it to a funeral, and wear it to Target. But um, alright you guys, I think it's no shocker here that the Ciate London Glitter Flip Liquid Lipstick is Jeffree Star approved. Um, I'm really, really happy that this brand is stepping it up and they're trying new things and I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Alright you guys, thank you for watching another review. I will be in New York this weekend. I'm really, really excited for DragCon. So if you want to see me, Manny, and Laura, click the link down below. We're doing a meet and greet. We're doing a huge booth with my brand and um, I can't wait to be back on the East Coast but um, besides that you guys I will see you on the next one Mwah.